Hey guys, this is Mike here at the Professional Security Journal. It's um, freaking 11.22 p.m. Salt Lake, Wednesday night, um, September 6th. Uh, I am wrapping up the free field training YouTube video reviews for you guys, going through all of Tommy's free field training videos he's ever released. And um, somebody brought up in one of the comments because he was reviewing the uh, Mace brand pepper gun. Not recommended, spoiler alert. Um, somebody brought up the Taser Pulse. And I know another content creator that has mocked me in the past also carries a Taser Pulse on duty. So this is something I felt that was worth talking about. Pirate security, quit using the Taser Pulse on duty. The Taser Pulse is a civilian model meant for concealed carry use. If I if I am remembering my Axon, actually Axon is the public safety branch, the law enforcement branch, so Taser is the civilian branch. If I remember the Taser catalog correct from when I last looked at it about a month ago, um, there are no outside the waistband Taser Pulse holsters. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'll follow my sword. I'm, I'm humble enough to admit when I'm wrong. But from my memory, from what I remember uh, browsing on the Taser's website, all of the Taser Pulse holsters are inside the waistband. They're inside the waistband for a reason. The Taser Pulse model is meant for civilian use. In a private security context, this is if you were off duty. Why is it 30 seconds? And why am I bringing up 30 seconds? Well, guys, I'm a, for those of you who aren't aware, I am an Axon public safety law enforcement instructor. I went through the public safety instructor program. I am credentialed in the X26P, the Taser 7, and the X2, the Taser X2. I am credentialed for all of the multi-shot models and the X26 single shot. All of the professional series, the law enforcement tasers, I'm credentialed to instruct others in. So I bring up the 30 seconds to differentiate something very important as it applies to private security. The taser pulse is, I don't know how to articulate it properly, so I'm going to word it like this. I, I'm, I don't know how to choose my words well right now. The taser pulse is rated to deliver a 30 second charge, a 30 second ride, as it's normally referred to as within public safety. Why is it 30 seconds? Because if you use and discharge the taser pulse, I'll use my radio, if I'm shocking somebody with the pulse, I'm supposed to drop the taser, you leave it at the scene and you run. The taser pulse device is meant to be left on scene. You give them their ride, you drop the taser, you get the fuck out of the area. You bug out. Law enforcement models are rated for, if I remember, it's a five or six second ride. It's a five or six second charge due to the fact that in the past, before this change was made, because believe it or not, Law enforcement models used to have the 30 second ride, and then all these excessive use of force complaints started to come in. So, Taser, Axon, Axon Law Enforcement Branch, Axon changed all the law enforcement releases from that point on to a five second ride. So, I'm not saying private security gets shot by law enforcement, but this is more or less addressed to the public at this point. If you ever get shocked by law enforcement, you're taking a five second ride, not a 30 second ride. The 30 second ride is like I said, discharge and run. You give them the ride, you drop it, you leave it on scene, you bug out. It's kind of like pepper spray. You give them their spray, as I've, I have just made an OC video the other night, you spray and scoot, you spray and move. OC is meant to be used defensively. You spray and you bug out. Same principle here for the tasers as it applies to civilian use. You give them the ride, drop, get out. So I know there's a content creator, like I said, I know there's a content creator here on YouTube, another security creator that I've had some, uh, <clears throat> I've had some uh, <clears throat> respect issues with in the past. 
um, he carries the pulse on duty. Don't. The 30 second ride is not meant for professional use. The 30 second ride is not meant for public safety use. The 30 second ride is not for law enforcement and by extension, therefore security because we are judged to law enforcement standards. Those of us that actually use our duty belt, and I'm not trying to be arrogant, but those of us that actually use the equipment, if you ever draw your baton or whatnot, you're going to be judged to police standards. You're going to be judged to that extent. So for tasers, if you shock somebody for 30 seconds, that's gonna come up and it ain't gonna look good. Ask me how I know. I've been in court, guys. I've been in court and I've had to explain things as an instructor. I've had to explain my training on the stand. I've had to raise my own hand in court and go to bat for either the company, a single officer or plural officers or the company and officer or officers at the same time in the same court session, in the same seating. So a lot of people on Reddit because, yeah, uh, that caveat real fast. I have put my YouTube on my Reddit now, so I'm probably going to be getting some people from Reddit here. I have developed a reputation on the security of Reddits as far as I think a lot of, I think I piss a lot of people off as far as people think I'm arrogant or people think, you know, I'm this asshole. No, it's because I'm tired of seeing the incompetence within private security professionals, such as exactly what we're talking about here. I'm tired of seeing people recommend or, or use the taser pulse themselves. It is a civilian model. That is why it's under taser. It's not your Axon. Axon are the law enforcement products. Those are the ones you want. Within security, those are the, those are the products you should be using. And yes, I know they're $2,000 each. This shit ain't cheap. Guess what? That's the price you pay. If you want to, if you want to play, the, if you want to play the game, you got to pay the price. And the words have left my mouth and I'm thinking, crap, if these videos ever come up in court, that may sound dicey. Sean always, Sean always has to catch himself on, on his YouTube streams. I just saw, I just heard myself say that and I'm like, ooh. But yes, if you want a taser, that's the price of admission. If you want this use of, or excuse me, if you want this, yeah, if you want this use of force implement, if you want this less lethal device as an option on your belt, that is the price of admission. The professional models, which you should be using, are at minimum $1,000 each. That is a number I will throw out there confidently, depending on where you get them from and, you know, this and that, the price may vary. But the Taser Pulse is a civilian product. That is why it has that 30 second ride. It's not meant for law enforcement, public safety, security use. The ta there is a very important distinction between Taser and Axon. Taser are civilian products. Axon are the law enforcement products. Again, Axon is what you should be using as a private security professional. Axon less lethal products are what should be in your holster. I, I cringe every time I see this one particular content creator. I cringe every time I see his pulse on his vest when he, in his videos. Because it's not meant for professional use. The 30 second ride is to leave the device at the scene and you get the hell out of the area. It's shock, drop, run. So again, I mentioned it in the OC video, I hate to use lethal terminology, but shoot and scoot, shoot and move. You shoot the taser, you drop it, you run, you, you scoot. The taser pulse is literally meant to shoot and scoot. Again, I hate to use lethal terminology, but it is a shoot and scoot device. Shoot, drop, scoot, get out of the area. The 30 second ride is to give you the time to get out of the area. The, ta the taser 30 second ride is not for law enforcement, security, public safety use. I know I'm repeating myself, I'm trying to emphasize it. I'm tired of seeing people use these devices improperly. 
And if you're using the taser pulse in a security setting, you are using the device improperly. I am an Axon instructor. I am a law enforcement credential instructor, guys. I repeat myself right now in this video for emphasis because I'm trying to drive the point home. I make these videos to help people out. And I'm personally tired of seeing the pulse used in a professional duty setting. It's not meant for that. That's why it's not an Axon product. It is a civilian product. You guys are using this device improperly. The Taser Pulse is meant for it to be left at the scene. I had to think of my words. I, can't, I couldn't brain. I had a brain stutter. Brain to mouth. <laughs> As I always say to my friends, brain to mouth. I stutter there. But yes, the 30 second rise to leave the device at the scene. You want something with the five second delivery, the five second ride, because the time of your device, the, ti the timing of your device at five versus 30, that's gonna come up in court. And trust me, people on the stand, lawyers, defendants, plaintiffs, the, the legal parties, they know these devices. Again, I have put myself on Reddit now. People think I talk out of my ass in these Reddits. I don't. I don't talk out of my ass. I've been in court. I've seen what I'm talking about happen. This shit will come up. Please start using devices properly. Private security professionals, you need Axon. Quit using the Pulse and rant over. I've repeated myself enough. Uh, I can go on, but that's all I got for you guys. Again, just a quick little video I wanted to put out. Um, I'm wrapping up, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm wrapping up the free field training uh, video review, and I'm wrapping up the playlist project that I've been doing for you guys to put out good information from other channels. That's that's my master project right now. I'm, I'm throwing other channels onto my channel. Tommy from Free Field Training is the first channel to um, more or less get their information put up by me. Uh, I more or less grew up watching Tommy's videos, so Free Field Training was the first. Um, next person's actually going to be my, I call him my YouTube mentor. The next, the next channel I'll be going through is Sean's videos over at the, uh, I shorthand into the leadership channel. His full channel is the Security Investigations Leadership Channel. So as soon as I'm done with Tommy, Sean, you're next as far as making a big playlist of your your videos, good knowledge that I want others to have. Um, I'm making a, I'll be making a playlist of your videos next. So other than that, guys, that's all I have for you. Mike here at the Professional Security Journal. Stay safe out there. Stay vigilant. Stay situationally aware. Take pride in all that you do. And other than that, y'all take it easy and have a good one. I got a round to get to. Take it easy, guys. Bye, guys.